Rocket Lab has been making rockets for more than a decade now, but since the rise of SpaceX, people thought that Rocket Lab would be out of business, especially when Elon Musk introduced his newest spacecraft that could carry 100 tons of payload. But experts still think that Rocket Lab is ahead of SpaceX in some key areas. So, why do they think that? Well, we'll find out in just a second. But before that, please subscribe to Futurefile to watch more fascinating videos on space. Despite the fact that Rocket Lab has always been a go-to destination for rocket building, the company has recently come into the spotlight as a result of the CEO of Rocket Lab, Peter Beck, deciding to give SpaceX a hard time about it. The founder of Rocket Lab is Peter Beck, an engineer who founded the firm in 2006. Since then, he has made several advancements in his company, which is one of the reasons why Rocket Lab is still so relevant today, despite its age. Currently, Rocket Lab is an absolute favorite for multi-billion dollar companies to send rockets to space. But SpaceX certainly affects the overall market of Rocket Lab. But the CEO of the company is confident that they will rule the market once again. Additionally, Rocket Lab manufactures all of its rockets in-house, and Beck has stated in several media appearances that raw materials are sent to their facilities, where they then manufacture rockets from them that are launched into space. Peter is one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, and his ambitions are now much greater than they were before, given the current state of the space sector. Rocket Lab is lucky to have found a CEO who is not impulsive and who thinks in terms of the long run. On the other hand, the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, does not always make decisions impulsively, and at times, his decisions even backfire at him. Recently, Beck has said that he was trying to build a new breed of his space company, which tells us a lot about how he is going to reshape his company. When compared to Elon Musk's Falcon and Starship rockets, Rocket Lab has only launched satellites on smaller rockets. These rockets place the satellites in orbit and allow them to snap pictures of the world from their vantage point above the planet. Because the rockets are smaller, the expense of traveling to and returning from space is not as expensive as it formerly was. That is the very reason why people usually call Rocket Lab the cheaper alternative to SpaceX. The Rocket Lab that this company currently uses is Electron, and it is 60 feet tall. But Rocket Lab has recently secured a deal of $24.4 million with the US Space Force, and according to this deal, Rocket Lab will build a rocket that has the capacity to carry 25 times more payload than the Electron. This rocket isn't going to be named Neutron, but even though it would be able to carry 17,000 pounds, it still won't match the payload capacity of Falcon 9. However, experts are considering it a great development for Rocket Lab. This deal is going to bring Rocket Lab a lot closer to competing with Elon Musk in the space industry, and the CEO of this company has a lot of thoughts about that too. According to Beck, SpaceX and Rocket Lab are two private companies, yet they are leading the rocket industry, which is great and a moment of pride. But the key difference between SpaceX and Rocket Lab is that Rocket Lab has always tried to keep the costs very low. Rocket Lab has dealt with a number of challenges in a creative and innovative manner, including the high costs associated with the rocket industry. Electron, which they have been using for many years, has also provided them with a wealth of knowledge and experience. Elon Musk has this vision of using Starship as both a rocket and a ship, but Beck said in an interview that he might use Starship to populate Mars, which would be great as a ship is made for it and would be pretty perfect for the purpose too. But it won't be suitable to deploy payload of hundreds of tons in space because it is not made for that. The Rocket Lab's Neutron is going to be launched in 2024, but it does not have a lot of capacity, and that is because Beck thinks that with multiple smaller rockets, you get to deploy the satellites in multiple planes. The problem with one bigger rocket is that it deploys all the satellites in one plane, which is not always helpful. If you place your satellites in multiple planes, that is going to be a lot more helpful than jamming them all up in one place. According to the CEO of Rocket Lab, you don't really save any money if you're using one rocket for 100 tons of payload or 10 different rockets for it. It costs pretty much the same. There is no second opinion in the fact that Rocket Lab has certainly democratized the rocket industry by offering launches at a lower rate than that of other companies, and they tend to cut extra costs wherever possible. Beck also recently announced that Neutron would not only be used for satellites, but also for spaceflight of humans. But Rocket Lab is going to design this rocket very intricately, so there is no loophole anywhere. The company is calling its Neutron a straight-up alternative to Falcon 9 from SpaceX. Rocket Lab also went public by merging with Vector Acquisition Corporation, and because of that, it is currently standing at more than $4.1 billion. Rocket Lab is trying to build a rocket that is completely reusable so they can cut the extra costs here and there. 
and the company is also planning on sending Neutron to missions on Mars and Venus. Rocket Lab is taking every step very carefully, because the CEO of this company knows his stuff and what he has to do to be on top. Also, the smaller rocket market has a great potential that SpaceX is currently not paying attention to, which is why the experts say that Rocket Lab might have the upper hand in the satellite deployment industry. Rocket Lab can also provide specialized launches to different companies, and its rockets are a lot of light, and compared to that of its competitors. This company is also revolutionizing the world of space by making it faster for rockets to reach at orbit, which will save not only time, but also a lot of money. Rocket Lab certainly does not have as much hype as SpaceX, but it does deliver great results, and it has been doing that for years, which is why Rocket Lab is the first choice of many leading companies for satellite deployment. It is not a very fancy company with a socially active CEO, but we could say that people rely on Rocket Lab a lot more as it does not announce projects before actually knowing whether they can do it or not. The concept SpaceX does not know about yet. The Electron rocket from Rocket Lab is presently the only rocket in the space industry that is used for smaller projects and is far more adaptable than other rockets on the market. Moreover, it is reusable, making it ideal for the highly cost-effective deployment of objects into space. Rocket Lab is currently focusing on expanding its business and entering the market of larger rockets, which is why it is being considered a substantial threat to SpaceX, which is already ruling the market. It is very much possible that Rocket Lab will take over the market because it has been in the game for quite a while now and knows everything about the market too. So, do you think Rocket Lab will be able to surpass SpaceX in the coming years? Let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this next video that is shown in the end screen. See you there.